many people there are. Should we get to it then? Pick up anything that seems the least bit device-like and we'll make ourselves a pile. Well, if it isn't the hero of the hour, maybe you'll change our look. We've found bugger all without you. Figs! Wedge! Aye, aye. We could hardly say no to a call for aid from the Scions. Jesse call it the chief of some other business. So we'll be working twice as hard to make up for his not being here. Thrice as hard, even. <sighs> Thank you, both of you. I'm sure we'll find that beacon in no time. I'm not seeing anything out here. Do you reckon you could squeeze in there, Wedge? And get stuck halfway? No, thank you. I could try if you like. Tataru, no! We couldn't ask you to do that. Oh, I'll be fine. This receptionist is not afraid to get her hands dirty. Sorry, I, I meant to say, the scholars haven't finished their preliminary assessment of the site yet, so we're not supposed to venture too far in. Hmm, what's that you got there? Now that looks promising. Uh, isn't that the ironworks symbol? Counterfeiters? Now, now I have you. You are right. What's happening? <laughs> Stay with me. Focus on my voice. Let expanse contract. Eon become instant. Wait, this must be it. The device. Oh, this is supposed to happen. Throw wide the gates that we may pass. Oh, safe journey, warrior of light. Find our friends and bring them home. of us and still still it came to this
Your time has not yet come. From endless dreams I awake. Something vague, yet urgent, calls me to action once more. Rare to meet someone out here who's not a peddler himself. What brings you into the wilds this time of night? <laughs> well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. Me granddad, God rest his soul, used to tell that one to the barman at kicking out toy. And when, pray tell, did we last have a dark night? You rotten old drunk yet, he'd reply. <sighs> Over a hundred bleeding years ago, that's when. <laughs> hmm. You got that look down to a T. I'd almost think you meant it. Ah, got to you, did they? Poor beggar. That explains it then. Well, I've roads to travel and wares to sell, but you, you best hurry along to the town nearby. Just head east through the trees and aim for the Shining Tower. You'll find the place soon enough. It is the biggest settlement for Malms around. Go 
on now, friend. They'll take good care of you in the Crystarium. Dizzying heights it rises, the gleaming spire, its tip threatening to pierce the blinding canopy. There, it will all begin anew, between dark and light, the pure and the corrupt, the one true struggle. Every face in this city I know. Yours, I do not. This is the threshold of the Crystarium, stranger, and I am its gatekeeper. If you would enter, you will answer my questions. From where do you hail? Do you take me for a fool? No such place exists. Had you given me an honest answer, I would not have barred your way. We care little here for a person's place of origin. But instead, you chose concealment. And I will not suffer you to pass. That one had eaten. It must have gulped down the whole hand. Ring and all. Everything all right, Captain? Quite all right, my lord. Just a stray sin eater, and a weak one at that. I see. Weak or not, we should be on the lookout for more. But I see you've met my guest. I will escort him to the Crystarium myself, if you've no objections. Another of your mysterious friends, is it? I should have known. Very well. I'll inform the others your guest is to be given the run of the city. Pray forgive my less than cordial welcome. May the rest of your stay with us be a pleasant one. Come with me. I will 
answer whatever questions you have when we are somewhere more private. Right then, before we plunge into the where's and wherefores, let me first thank you for answering my summons. I had intended to bring you directly to my personal quarters, but I fear my aim was slightly off. That you are still able to make the crossing unharmed is a great relief. And so, we come to the question of where. The realm in which you now find yourself belongs to one of the Thirteen Reflections, or Shards. The first, to be precise, even if its inhabitants are largely oblivious to the fact. As to wherefore, having been awarded the rather grandiose title of Crystal Exarch, <laughs> I, in uh, my capacity as caretaker of the Crystarium, thought to seek the aid of you and your companions. A question with no simple answer, but all shall be explained in due course, I promise you. Let us begin with the glaring skies up above. Here in the first, the world has been all but consumed by primordial light. It began a century ago, by this realm's reckoning. A luminous flood swallowing everything in its path. More than nine-tenths of this star was lost. And the fortunate few who survived are hounded by abominations born of that catastrophe even now. Sin Eaters, we call them. The creature you saw earlier was one such monstrosity. It was to save the first from this menace that I learned to bridge the rift between worlds. That I might call upon the aid of the greatest of heroes. Though it meant depriving a world of its champion, I had to try. For in saving the first, you would bring salvation to the source as well. But what manner of host harangues his guests in the middle of the road? <laughs> Let us continue our talk within the Crystarium. vibrant city. The sole sanctuary for the living in a world all but resigned to oblivion. Each stone was laid with hope. The town itself a symbol. A monument to defiance in the face of death. No would-be hero could fail to answer its call. 
for who among us does not yearn for salvation?